Hello. I'm going to take a moment and walk through the uh, counting probability 2 assignment. Just working through what we have here. Um, go through the different problems that we have, how we read, how we interpret things. Things that we know, things that we have, anytime we're talking probability, it's always the number of successful outcomes over the total number of outcomes. So it's always how do we count what we want, how do we count what in total what's happening. Other key words that we look for, and means multiply, or tells us to add. We think about permutations at NPR, when order matters, or combinations, when grouping something or order does not matter. So I'm going to go into the assignments, play around with this, uh, evaluate things in the calculator so we can see things done out. Uh, this first one here, 15 people in a room, probability that at least two have the same birthday. Now this is similar to the example given uh, with a birthday paradox when we looked at our class, at least two, that means two or three or four or five, or we're going to have to look at all of those different possibilities. This is everything except for nobody has the same probability. So what we're going to do is look for the probability that nobody shares a birthday. And in doing that, I'm going to say, okay, now bear with me as I type through things. The way we looked at this before, one person having a unique birthday was 365 over 365. Then a second person having a unique birthday was 364 over 365. And a third person having a, a unique birthday was 363 over 365. And we would do that 15 times because looking back we've got 15 people in a room. This is equal to, what we're going to do 1 minus, oops, let's get through that, 1 minus the probability that no birthdays are shared gives us that some birthdays are shared, so 1 minus all of this. Now we can group this together, this is going to be 1 minus 365 times 364 times 363 done 15 times, that's the same thing as 365p15. In our denominator, we have 365 multiplied by 365 multiplied by 365 15 times. That's 365 raised to the exponent of 15. This is our probability. So the 365 p15 over 365 raised to the 15, that's the probability that nobody shares a birthday. 1 minus that would be the probability that somebody shares a birthday. I'm going to go into the calculator, evaluate that. 1 minus, we're going to do 365. Our NPR, NCR is in the calculator and the math button under prob. We go NPR. Our mine shows up with the notation. Yours might not, that's okay. Divided by 365 raised to the 15th power. We've got about a 25%. Uh, probability that somebody shares a birthday. Second one, you were dealt five cards from a standard deck, probability of being dealt two hearts and three spades. All right, so two hearts, three spades, there's this connector word here, and. So probability, I'm just going to use E for now, you know what it says, two hearts and three spades. We've got a probability. I'm going to look at the bottom, our denominator first. In total, we have a standard deck of cards. We are being dealt five cards. Now, when you're dealt a hand of cards from a deck, it does not matter the order. It does not matter the order. That cues us in combinations. So in total, there are 52 cards in a deck. We are being dealt a group of five of them. So 52 C5 in our denominator. Up top, we need to look at what are we getting? What do we want? Well, we want two hearts. Well, what I read with two hearts, well, there's 13 hearts in a deck. We want any two of them. Now, it does not matter the order in which we get them. Any two, 13 C2. There are 13 hearts. We are getting any two of them. It does not matter the grouping. And, and tells us to multiply. Well, we're getting three spades. In a deck of cards, there are 13 spades. We are getting any three of them. It does not matter the order to them. So we've got 13 hearts. We're getting any two of them. 
and multiply, there are 13 spades, we are getting any three. In total, down in the denominator, there are 52 total cards, we are getting any five. I'm going to evaluate this in the calculator, get a probability or percentage for that. So I can just do 13 NCR 3 multiplied by 13 NCR uh, 2. Oops, I put those backwards, doesn't really matter. Divided by, we've got 52 total cards. NCR, we're getting five of them. So 0.8 percent. We've got 0 0.085, that is 0.85 percent. There we go. All right, next up, four red, five white, six blue marbles, three are drawn. All right, what is the probability that at least, ooh, that word shows up again, at least two of the three are the same color? Well, that could be two reds, one white, two reds, one blue. Could be two whites, one red, two whites, one blue. It could be two blue, one red, two blue, uh, one white. It could be three reds, it could be three whites, or it could be three blues. There's a whole lot of stuff that we could possibly be. And if we look at all the different possibilities, we'd have all this, this or this or this, we'd have to add together. Well, at least two are the same color. That is everything except for nothing's the same color. So what we're going to do is the probability that none are the same color. We'll do one minus probability none the same. Uh oh, where'd that go? We're going to do one minus, did I lose it? There it is. Probability that none are the same. Well, it's one minus. What does it mean for none of them to be the same? Well, that would mean that all three are different. If all three are different, that means we get one red and one white and one blue. So we're going to reach in our hand, into our bag, grab some marbles. We are grabbing three marbles. In total, now I'm thinking by denominator, denominator in total, we're getting three items. Well, there's four, five, six, that's 15 total marbles. We're grabbing three of them. We're just going to reach our hand in, grab three of them. So there's 15. We're grabbing any three. It does not matter if we grab a blue marble first, if we grab a red marble first, if we grab a white marble first. We're just grabbing three marbles. Order does not matter. Up top, what do we want? Well, we want one of each. There are... For red marbles, we want any one of them. And there are five white marbles, we want any one of them. And there are six blue marbles, we want any one of them. So that would give us the probability that nothing is the same with everything's different. Or, yeah, we get one of each. So there's four reds, we're getting one. And there's five whites, we're getting one. And there are six blues, we're getting one. In total, we're just grabbing three marbles. There are 15 total marbles. We're taking three. Put this into the calculator, see what it gives us as a percentage, as a decimal. We get a 73%, 74% that we get at least two are the same. Uh, and, uh, I just don't want that. I don't know where that came from. Four, heart, four card hand is dealt from a standard deck of 52 cards. Probability that hand contains one card of each suit. Well, what we need to think about is one card of each suit. That means one heart, one diamond, one spade, and I'm being very deliberate about my words there. And tells us that we're multiplying. And one whatever else is there. Club. Oh. In 
total, so in total, oops, we are drawing a deck of cards, getting four hands. So in total, there's 52. We are getting any four of those. So 52, C4. 52 total, we're getting any four. Order does not matter. What do we want? We want one heart and one diamond and one spade and one club. That and tells us to multiply. Now in our deck, there are 13 hearts. We're getting any one of them. And there are 13 diamonds. We're getting any one of them. And there are 13 spades. We're getting any one of them. And there are 13 clubs. We're getting any one of them. We've got that 13C1 times 13C1, that's 13 hearts, we're getting one, 13 diamonds, we're getting one. In total, there's 52. We're taking four out of the deck, and the order does not matter. Uh, put this in the calculator, see what we get. I'm going to shortcut this with an exponent, so 13C1 to the fourth. So we're multiplying it four times. And we get 10.5%. Pull this down to the next page so we can see a little bit better. Coin is flipped 10 times, probability that you will get 10 heads. Now each head is separate. Now one head would be one half, and the second heads would be again one half. And the third head would be, again, one half. Well, we're going to do that 10 times. Rather than do that all out 10 times, we're going to have 1 over 2 to the 10th. That's 20th to the 10th, because we're doing 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. Gets us 1 over, I think it's uh, 1024. Let's just check that. Oop, oop, oop. Two to the ten. Yep, ten twenty-four. Funny. Gets us point zero 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 nine seven. Gets us point oh. That's actually nine eight. And ooh, nine eight percent. Did I calculate that right? You get that one two. Yep. Okay. Very, very small. At least one head. Well, that's going to be the opposite. So this could be one head or two heads or three heads or four heads or ten heads. Ten heads, that's the same thing as getting ten tails because the coins are 50-50. At least one head would be everything except for no heads. Everything except for no heads, well, that's all tails. We already know what all tails is. Same as no heads, or 10 heads. So we're going to have 1 minus 1 over 2. Come on. Come on, exponent. There we go. 2 to the 10. And we can do that with the calculator. And we get about 99.9%. And lastly, there are 26 of us in discrete math this semester. If you've never looked around, 17 of us were right-handed, the other nine were left-handed. Three people are chosen at random. Find the probability that they all write with the same hand. So all writing with the same hand would be all write right-handed or all left-handed. Ah, there's that phrase or in the middle there. Or tells us we're going to be adding things. Let's pull this out. Now in total, in total, there's 26 of us. We're picking a group of three. So three people are chosen at random. Now it doesn't say that we're picking them in alphabetical order or we're picking them in height order or any kind of order. So it's all order does not matter. There's 26 of us total, we are picking three of us. So 26 of us, three are chosen at random. There's our 26C3. Now what do we want? 
all are right-handed, so there's 17 right-handers, we want any three of them. So there's 17 right-handers, there's three of them, or, now or tells us we're going to be adding. We want all left-handers. Well, all left-handers, well, there's nine of them, we want any three of them. So we've got 17C3 plus 9C3 over 26C3. And you can pop that in the calculator to get a, a decimal or a percentage if you want to compare it, but I'm just going to leave it like that. There we go. Let me know if we've got any questions.